was an insurrection based on a lie, that the election was stolen from President Trump, a lie that was investigated and refuted by then President Trump's own attorney general. They rigged an election. They rigged it like they've never rigged an election before. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Since then, we've learned more about just how unprepared the police were. NPD is reporting that they do not have enough personnel to hold the line currently. Just note for the record that myself and 21 were hit with CS gas. And just how threatened lawmakers and police officers felt. When a police officer in a bulletproof vest and with a submachine gun strapped across his waist grabbed me firmly by the collar like this, I'll never forget that grip. He said, Senator, we're in danger. We got to get out of here. In the immediate aftermath, Republicans condemned the attack. All I can say is uh, count me out. Enough is enough. The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. He should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding. A bipartisan 9-11 style commission was attempted in the House, and in the Senate, the filibuster was used to kill a bipartisan investigation. The Capitol Police have purchased new riot gear and equipment, and a bill was even signed that in the event of another insurrection, the U.S. Capitol Police chief can now unilaterally call in the National Guard. Today, the events that once united our nation now seem to be dividing it even further. You mentioned Donald Trump, Senator. Is he the nominee in 2024 right now? Yeah, if he wants it. More than 700 people have been arrested connected to the riot. The House Committee's investigation into that dreadful day's events continues, and the nonpartisan group does plan to televise those hearings when they happen. They have released text messages between those involved, and some of those who were present are now speaking out. All I know about that day was that he was in the dining room gleefully watching on his TV, as he often did, uh, look at all of the people fighting for me, hitting rewind, watching it again. Lawsuits to prevent the American public from learning the whole story have been filed, and the big lie continues, as states from Georgia to New Hampshire have undertaken action to restrict voting based off of that lie that led to the insurrection. As legislators gather to remember this somber day, most Republicans missing. Right, the next chapter in American history where January 6 marks not the end of democracy, but the beginning of a renaissance of liberty and fair play. So now, the capital secure, the riot gear purchase, the police armed, but democracy, fragile as ever.